free free roam mode. So that we need to establish a camp over here. Uh, yeah, star collapse. So we'll be doing that. Uh, yeah, that is Matt Mercer. This game's pretty cool so far. Got a lot of stuff going on in it. You can depart an expedition by selecting a destination or world map without ex first accepting a quest. Unlike quests, expeditions are very open-ended and are great if you want to freely explore the open world. Expeditions have the following characteristics. There's no time limit. You will not fail no matter how times you fate. There's no completion conditions or rewards. You keep the materials you gather and points you earn. Monsters will be will depart the field after a set time elapses. Uh, you can decide when to return the expedition. Speak to a handler. Select from the menu. It's there from the world map. Let's look for the campsite. <laughs> like I always say, research if is If I get to the campsite first, or if you're lost, open up your map or use your scout flies to track me. Like I always said, research is neat, but first we need to eat. You have Whenever a barbecue you leave spit. the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. God damn, Matt Mercer. Like I always said, research is neat, but first we need to eat. Do you have a you have a barbecue spit handy? Just grill some raw meat on, on the up to golden brown. It'll raise your stamina level. Hit circle to take the meat off the flay. Remember to keep an eye on it. Don't let it burn. You should be able to eat some raw meat from hunting Apneth. So. Barbecue spit. All right, here we go. Timing is everything. The color of the meat and the song are clues. Oops, your timing was off. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, you need to keep drilling your grilling. Okay. Okay, rare steak. They they shorten this song a lot. Damn it. Okay. Shh. <laughs> I barely t Okay. Go on. Nice. Got it. That looks so tasty. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. Tasty get. This guy looks over the dut dut, and it's done. Um. Okay, we gotta figure out how do I turn off the online notification stuff. Is there a way to turn off notifications so I don't see when people uh when people join? Because that's getting really annoying. Any map damage and control guide. Like I'm trying to look for a setting that turns off the. Someone has joined your online session. Someone has joined your online session. Someone joined your online session. Like every five seconds. I don't see an option for that. Boom, boom, boom. Go to the mission board online sessions. Nothing can stop us. Okay. Let's go back. OK. 
Okay, let's try that. There's got to be a way to like turn off all these because they're really annoying. Just someone turn your session. Someone turn your session. Someone turn your session. Someone turn your session. Turn. So once we figure it out, we could turn it off. Okay, let's get this expedition underway. Meet online the session. There it is. Create an online session. Private session, yes. None. You can embark on an expedition just by heading out to the gate, or you can use the world map, mm -hmm. whatever's easiest. Perfect. So now I'm in my own session, no one's there. I don't have to see those notifications anymore. It's a private show, just for me. Okay, let's Thank get this you. expedition underway. Maybe Perfect. It's now it's immersive. We're immersive right now. Okay, now we're back. Uh, Ironclad, it also makes the frame rate really bad when you have on set prioritized graphics. It goes from 30 frames to about 25 to 20. It's stuttery. So that's why I have it on preferred frame rate. It's either look pretty and run bad or run great and look blurrier. Fortunately. We're playing on PS4 Pro. Let's look for the campsite. All right, where is the campsite again? Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. If I get to the campsite first, or if you're lost, open up your map or use your scout flies to track me. Uh, I Whenever see. Whenever you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. Unfortunately, the PC version won't be out for several months, so we have to wait. It looks like there's quest out here. Let's go ahead and uh. Over here. Hi. Let's gather some stone. Hello there. Hello. You are ugly. Oh, hello. I'm a researcher with the commission. My field is the Grimalkalines. Yes, Grimalkalines. Grimalkalines are a type of lion that are native to the new world. I wish to communicate with them and learn their lingo. But these creaky old bones just can't keep up with the fighty little chaps. Perhaps you could be of help. By my gnarly knuckles, if you could chase after them, we'd track them down in the time it takes to say meow. What do you say? You'd be doing an old man a favor. I, I guess. Sure. Hmm. I mean, why not? Tyrion Lannister? It's not Tyrion Lannister. No. God. <laughs> I must say, I do love that the, this game is... No, like, you can just walk from one place to the other. You don't have to, like... New monster, Doodles. I like that you don't. There's no loading screen between the areas this time. What is that? Large Doodles. Another herb. What is that in the water there? There's like a monster there. There's two of them. They're like fish. Bone pile. I... Could I kill them? I guess I can kill them. Can I grab these fish? Come here, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I don't do are, but I'm killing you. They're like giant catfish. This is interesting. Let's report our findings to everyone in the 
resource center when we get back. Investigation added for what? Let's go ahead and scan these. Anyone know if the UK uh, for PS4 might buy, buy the digital version? What? How th this? How from the UK buy the? I don't understand the question exactly. It looks like you can't grab fish. I want the fish though. Where did you get your little boat? Derp's got a boat. <laughs> I guess he hates the water. <laughs> Hi, Tornus. How are you, beautiful? Use the net to capture small fish. Weststone. Oh, fishing rod. Wait, capture net. Aim net. Fire capture net. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Chat. Where'd he go? Where is he? You gotta hide. Gotta hide. Where is he? Okay, I don't see him anymore. I gotta flush him out so I can see where the hell he is. I think he's gone. Yeah, they look like they disappeared off the map. I don't know where they went. They're gone. Okay, fine. What's that? Uh, Paratoad. Total releases paralyzing agent. Effect is potent enough to paralyze even large monsters. Well, that's cool. Let's see what's up this way. Hope we don't accidentally stumble and cross something big. Old footprints. I see some ore right there. Grab that. He's not, no, he's not Hypnotoad. He's more like Cosby Toad. Spiderweb. Very sticky uh, web can be used to uh, craft pitfall traps. Bright moss can be used as slinger ammo. Launch it at walls to eliminate dark areas. Like the inside of a cave, for example. Okay. Playing this on PS4 Pro, yes. See more web. Grab some of that. Oh wait, I'm swapping one for the other. That's cool. Oh, hi there. I got Emperor Grasshopper. I like that you use this to find things. Yeah, I'm grabbing all things that we come across just because I don't know what I'm going to need or what I won't. Not used to make sticky ammo. It's over here. Yeah, it looks like each thing has an inventory limit. Like you'd have X number of this, X number of that. It's like there's some honey there. What's up there? Something's up that way. Grab some of that. More of this stuff. Mucus. You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map. You can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. If I was going to pick a spot that was going to be possibly a camp, I'm going to guess it's right there. Behind me. It looks like a spot for a camp. If I had to guess. It looks kind of secluded. That would probably
probably where they put a camp. No, those are thick vines. They're not a loading screen. God. They're immersion. This was like I a camp. I think we could build the camp here. <gasps> Let's ask the head honchos. I knew it. Um. How do I complete delivery quest to establish your new quest? Oh, cool. I did find one, but this is the one they want me to, check to do right now. But that was a campsite. I was right. Uh, yeah, you have a start. You have a box. You get access to all 14 weapons right off the bat, and you can upgrade, uh, switch them anytime, and upgrade them as as you see fit. Ajanath. Hey. Fine, run away. I don't need you. Now's your chance. Hurry up before you get noticed again. Hello. Over here. Okay, put that away. What's that in there, actually? Yes, loot him. Aren't there unique weapons of each as as well of each type? Oh, uh, the, I'll show you when we get back to camp. I'll show you the the upgrade screen. But every uh, every item, every weapon can be upgraded in many different ways, uh, to, to two different weapons and stuff. It's kind of cool. It's like a skill tree, and you can also downgrade weapons to then switch them out if, as you see fit. Bitter bug. We're just knocking out all our quest thing right now. Grab that. Uh, do you craft potions and stuff at the base, I'm guessing? Oh, poop! Slinger ammo that releases strong odor impact causes certain monsters to flee. If someone flung poop at me, I'd fling too. I'd flee away too. So I'd be guys really dead now. Keep my hype alive all night. Oh wait, there's multiple layers here, isn't there? What's over in this corner first, though? Poison cup. Vigor wasp. Snore puff. Looks like these uh, plants, you interact with them and they have like a special effect. Like they release poison or something. Or uh, buffs and things. How do you craft a mega potion if you have the ingredients? Crafting list. Mega potion. You do not have enough. Mi oh, they need enough honey to craft it. Auto crafting on. Oh, it is on. That's cool, it has auto crafting, so you can set things to auto craft cells if you pick them up. That's cool. Where's that thing? Over here. Alright, let's go. Wait, who's saying over here? straight ahead all 
All right, let me grab my uh, net. Got one. Insects emit light from their. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Stop moving. Stop it. Please, sir. Cooperate. Okay, got him. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it looks like nets are infinite. They took out a lot of tedious stuff in the game and made it a lot more streamlined. Some of the more annoying stuff. Over here. What's up? Ugh. Oh, right here. Don't take care of that pest. The camp won't last a night. Oh yeah. Monsters called a Kulu Yayu. Gayu. Scout flies to guide you to monsters, gremlins, and gather up items. Open the wildlife map. Use the cursor to select the target you wish to seek, then uh, place a pin on it. Scout flies take it from there. Bird brain bandit. Uh not that thing. To return to base from an expedition. That one. Open the wildlife map and switch to the world map. Then select Astera. That's cool. Wow, that's a fault. Okay, flame nut. Okay, we're heading this. Thank God for the tracker system. Because this. The uh, landscape has so many layers to it. It's crazy. There's so many. Different, like the lands. It's not like just one flat landscape. There's like layers upon layers of level, which is crazy and awesome. Save time. So let's go track down this Kula Yaya or whatever it's called. Yeah, verticality. <gasps> feathers. Can you put feathers in a jar? Where could he be? I, where did he go? I don't know. I don't know where he could be. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know, chat. Where could he be? I forgot I have stamina, don't I? If you run out of stamina, you'll be winded and vulnerable. Veteran hunters will have an eye on that gate. Uh. Hey, watch it. Okay, come on. Oh, 
Okay, uh, stop it. He's arming himself. Okay. Okay, where's he going? He's running away. I'm mostly swinging the weapon, praying he walks into it sometimes. Because <laughs> it's so slow. It's so slow. There's a bunch of creatures over there. Eat some meat. Oh, he's got another rock. He can't do that. That meat, goddammit. Eat it! Eat it! Okay, sharpen. <laughs> Derp had one job distract him. Couldn't even do that. Okay, run. Oh, uh, you got a rock, huh? Oh, you got a rock. Limping? Come on. Get over here. Oh, he's he's injured. Hold on. Injured. He's gonna go for a nap, I think. Well, we're gonna have to interrupt his nap a little bit. Shit. Go ahead and go to sleep. It's safe, I swear. What's he doing with that rock? He's real injured now. Uh oh, get up. Yeah, we unloaded into him. Come on. Come on, mister. Ow. 
he freaking destroyed that shit. It's so hard to swing them in the movie because this muffin's so slow. Gotcha! Select the stair from the world map so we can go home. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and grab that. I needed his parts, okay? Don't feel bad for him. His fate could have been a lot worse. He could have been modeled by the lead animator of Mass Effect Andromeda. That's a fate worse than death. His face could have been permanently tired. I know, that's terrible. All right, let's grab some of this. Do I need any more of their part? Now you're having too much butt happiness over here. I gotta change that. Shining now. What? I don't want to leave the family separated. I need some parts, probably. In the other Monster Hunter games, you need tons of parts to upgrade stuff. I assume this one's similar. Is this game too easy? We're on the tutorial stuff. These are easy stuff. Looted the big guy, right? I think. Pretty sure we looted the big guy. Go ahead and take that. There's a lot of materials around here. Let me you grab can them. Use scatter nut as slinger ammo. It's good <laughs> for staggering monsters. Scatter nut. Flow fern. Materials are everywhere in this. Is it just me or is chat too easy to bait? I know. I don't even have to finish. Like, they're so easy to bait, you don't have to even say the full word. Like, I can make them do whatever I want. Watch. I won't even say the full word, and they'll just all spam the same thing all at once. Watch. Cap. Bitter bug. Need to find one more bug for the outpost. So you didn't even have to say the whole thing. They already did it. Another bug right there. Grab it. Perfect. Oh, grab whatever that is. Doodles. Someone's doing doodles everywhere. I know. I didn't have to say Kappa all the way. They were baited into saying Kappa already. Large doodles. I thought doodles was the name of a creature. I was like, wait, what? Doodles. Flash fly. <gasps> Large doodle. That might be enough.
Okay. Return to Astera. Okay, I think we did most everything. Let me double check my quest, my bounties. If I can. I don't see where to track that. Well, let's go back. We're done with this anyways. How was the Kulu Yaku hunt? Not too bad. He's a little fast, and my weapon is very, very slow. So it was a little tough, but we got him. Research points. Beautiful. Vigor wasp spray. New cussing out of the gallery. Well, don't worry. We're gonna kill all the monsters over the next couple uh, next couple weeks. Next week or so. I don't know how long this game will take, but I plan on doing the whole thing. Magnifique. Thanks. Thanks for making sure the camp is safe. Mm -hmm. We went ahead and got the camp all set up. It's yours to use as you don't like. Let me down. And now that I know what you're made of, Fiber, I hope I talk to you taking jobs with me more often. That's cool. So we can unlock more camps. I have something special. Now that I have your tent. For you. Oh. And that job is to get us an ample supply of mega potions. A hunter of your caliber should know how important they are to any quest. Having said that, we're in short supply. I need someone to help refill our stocks. Plus, it wouldn't hurt for you to revisit the basics of crafting every now and then, Come no? Come back soon. Uh, so please go be a good sport about this and help us out. We're counting on you. Uh, crafting stuff is hunting 101. Mix some honey with a potion. You get a mega potion. Go on and try it. Mega potion. I don't have any honey. I'll have to go out and grab some. Oh, you came through. Bah, 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 bah. Rebuild the ancient forest camp. Entomology. Mining outcrops. Registered bounty. Limited bounty is now available. Expires in seven days. Manage investigations. What are those? Sometimes when collecting monster tracks or, or materials, breaking monster parts, or slaying monsters, you may find and lock new investigation. Check in with the resource center to make sure these investigations are available as special quests, which may have additional reward slots or ask you to slay multiple monsters. Uh, they also, may also have a limit how many times they can be taken. Investigation depends on the area you were exploring. Difficult investigations such as multiple monster slayings are, will offer better rewards in, in terms of both quantity and quality. To undertake an investigation, uh, you must first go to the list available of quests under the Manage Investigations, rest of the ones you wish to undertake. You will then be able to accept it by going to the quest counter and selecting investigations. Uh, there's a limited number of investigations you can register. How many total investigations? Blah, blah, blah. Slay 20 Vespoids. Hunt Great Jagras. Hunt. Uh, HR 2 or higher. Max players 2. Okay. Well, I guess we'll take uh, one of these. One of those. What the hell are vest spots? Dun, 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 dun. How many of those can you take at a time? Complete deliveries. You can complete delivery requests you accept for uh, research by turning in specified items of the resource center. All right, to, to set up the camp, we need uh, 
Research points and iron ore. Perfect. Nice. Now we have a new, new uh, research center. Dice steak. So now we have two camps available. What does Kappa mean? Uh, the origin of Kappa is... So a guy named Josh worked at Justin TV, which is what Twitch used to be. And he has a joke put in his face as an emote without anyone knowing in the code. And then someone at Twitch found the emote and the code and decided to just release it to the whole site. I don't know why, but they just did that. And that's how it came to be. And you can actually see the original picture of Josh in color on uh, Twitch's Google Kappa face. You can see a big uh, picture of uh, Kappa. And he didn't even intend it to be anything trolly. He was just a picture of him smiling at a camera awkwardly. And that's how Kappa came to be. And you know what? I actually know Kappa. And I will prove it. <laughs> Get ready for this. This is a picture of me and Kappa together. I know, me and Kappa right beside each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can't click it. Yeah, Kappa is real. He's not a figment of our imaginations. He's actually a real person. And Kappa is super shy, too, in real life. And every time he says something, I'm not sure if he's trolling or not. Like, Yeah, Kappa's bangable. I'd bang Kappa. Kappa. Let's go to the forge and see if we can upgrade anything. Me. Here they call you the shooting star that you came from the sky. Maybe you can teach my crew a thing or two since one of them is trying to figure out how to build an airship. Airship? So what are we hammering together this time? Let's upgrade our thingy. Malachi ore, iron ore, and something else. Great Jagus Claw. We can actually upgrade our to the Great Dragus tree, which is an upgrade of about 100 damage. Yes! And then upgrade it again. I need uh, some other things. And, and a, more great Dracus claws. Hmm. So we got upgrades. As you can see, uh, this is how the crafting system works now, is there's base items, like this one and that one, and you can upgrade them along the tree to different items. And then you can also downgrade back if you want to try out a different one. And every uh, weapon's like that. And there's also the whole thing locked over on the side, right side there. Oh, and this is how you uh, downgrade. Isn't that cool? Now, can you craft more armor? Now, equipping equipment skills are helpful skills that remain active as long as you have the piece of equipment equipped. Each armor piece has its own skills. Uh, check the eye on the skills and forging and upgrading your gear. Multiple piece of gear share a skill. Skills level will be summed up by the piece, uh, the, each piece skills level. Equip skills uh, set to the gear the same skills to power up those skill effects. Let's check out armor. Uh, Hunter, you need Jagras' hide and scale. 
bone armor. What's their skill? Health boost. Hunters is expand your scout flies de detection range. Let's go bone. One, two. Let's go bone armor. We can up. We can actually do that, and it's a health boost, which is nice. Yeah, bone looks cool too. That looks badass. That is badass. That is cool. I look very tribal though. Yeah, we gotta check out his arbor too. Okay, you can skip this elevation. Wait, is that a skirt? Wait, oh shit. I meant to equip it. Shit. Okay, we do it. I need that back. Forge uh, his equipment. Okay, his skill. I can make bone for him, too. Or Jagras. Let's, let's make him a setting. We're gonna make bone outfit for him. <laughs> now we match. <laughs> Little derp in his outfit. He looks adorable. Love how now he's now a rabbit. Okay, we want the bone coil. So checking that. Horn Maestro. Extends melody effect during uh, effect duration and increases health recovery. Stun power plus 10%. Attack plus three, that's nice. Health boost. And increase the chance of corpse being left behind. Not bad. <laughs> this is a summary of all the things equipped. That's awesome. What was the attack boost one? It was, uh... The chest piece. So let's... Upgrade the chest piece we're, we're using. Check the other armor. Let's see. Uh, is there a preview? There's some other stuff down here we can't see too much yet. But Kudu. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, preview. Square. Oh, there you go. Perfect. That's very uh, Persian. That's very... Looks kind of like a raptor. 
That's the bone one again. Hunter looks like this. Not bad. I like that one. It's kind of Persian-y. Prince of Persia. Jackrass looks kind of cool. Customized bow gun. Oh, that's if I'm using those, but I'm not using those. Kinsects. Insect glaives are used together with a kinsect, and both can enhance independently. Hmm. New subscriber. Okay, this bone armor looks badass. Thank you for subbing with Twitch Prime, Rebel Soko. Yelled on green. Uh, yelled on green. subscriber. And some Pocky for the Prime subs. Thank you for clicking the sub button and make sure your Prime token was available. Let's go. So the filth has arrived. Greetings. Greetings. I'm the airship engineer of the Second Fleet. I work on flying machines, airships, and what have you. I'm sure you're curious about why you haven't met a member of the Third yet. That's because they've all been stranded for years. It wasn't long after the scholars of the third landed before they insisted on crossing the Great Ravine. So they got their ship converted into an airship and off they went. It was going well until just after they crossed the ravine. A flying monster attacked their airship and grounded them. Sure, they were reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't help but feel partly responsible for it all. Ever since that, I've working on making a better airship, one that we could use to go rescue them. But uh, between the new world's nasty women, um, nasty weather, and the strong winds hurting down the ravines, been one failure to another. Still, you won't catch me calling it quits. How interesting! Oh no! Please tell, tell me more, please. No, do go on. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, forge weapons advocate lets you forge the other bases that was on the tree for great swords and stuff. There's different bases for each one. Boom, 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 boom. You've done well. Nice work cleaning out the camp. I knew you'd come through. Now we're finally ready. All right, Hunter. The Pookie Pookie hunt is on. Once you've hunted the target, the scholars will be able to get a close look at that evidence you found. Cannot stress enough how vital taking out that Pookie Pookie is for the commission. This is going to be the big break we've been waiting for. We're the ones to get it done. Great good luck and be careful. The fifth has an urgent mission. Partner, you'd better come see me. Hey there. Looks like we're going our separate ways. <laughs> Why call it Pookie Pookie? That's such a silly name. It's it's called a Pookie Pookie. Yeah, this game's pretty. The color's kind of washed out, but it's still pretty. One second. Let me turn the brightness down just a little, a couple notches. Hello there. Hey there, partner. All right, partner. Time for us to, for to do a little pookie pookie hunting. Once you set that, the scholars go in and check the slag. See if it came from the Zora Mandragos. Phew, but seriously, what other monsters could it have come from? But no scholar, but smoldering lava rock. Hello. All right, pookie pookie hunt. Where's our target? Uh, if you must please me send our scholars to research it. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go to the second camp, I guess. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I like that menu transition from 
going into the book. Yeah, she holds that book real steady. Let's get some let's get some meat in us. New subscriber. Thank you for subbing, Zerotted. Let's go attack up. I love this. Cats are the best chefs. Ha <laughs> ha! I love the huge chunk of cheese, too, you get there. Thank you, Angry Jolly. Let's go! <laughs> you have to teach your cat how to cook. Have a fire extinguisher ready. It might not work out too well. Hunt the pookie pookie. All right. Uh, pookie pookie, where are you? Could be anywhere. Uh, hold on one second. Alright, uh, we gotta find this creature and then go hunt it. He could be anywhere. Whoa, whoa, put your weapon away. Put your weapon away. Bait bug. Insect uses fishing bait. Uh, favorite fish. Oh, we're, we're, we're full of inventory, aren't we? I'll leave it. Fine. Wait, can I store stuff in the item box? Is that possible? Hmm. I have to go back to base to do that. Base is there. Oh, we can fast travel. Perfect. Uh, I guess I have to go back. I have to abandon the mission. Let's then go inside here. Oh, camp offers uh, tent, supply box, quest counter, your pleco, canteen. The tent lets you swap items, carrying, change your pleco, supply box. Can you just buy the hunters free of charge? Don't have to take your members to share playing. Quest counter, speak to the handler during a quest wish to take on a new quest. Uh, speak to them, choose whether to bring them with you or hunt or have them wait for you to return. Fast travel. You can change your weapons and armor here. Make sure you're always prepped and ready for what comes next. Okay, uh... Okay, go ahead and store that. Empty file. Binoculars, burnt meat. Rare steak, mega potion, parish room, needleberry. I'm gonna store everything I'm not using right now. That way I can pick up more anytime I want. Not 
not using those binoculars at all. Dung pod. You can use the item box to manage your inventory. Okay. Thank you. That saves me some time, so I don't have to go all the way back. All right, let's go track down a beast now. You can set an item loadout and also auto dump anything isn't in the loadout for you. Thank you. I'll set that up afterward. This new subscriber. Thank you for subbing Ar Aruf Chan. Thank you. We've got to find this monster. I have no idea where to start looking. More shrooms. Um. I don't see him on the map to target him, so I guess we have to just run around until we find uh we find evidence of him. Either poop or claw marks or something. Unless there's a quest. Pookie pookie. I don't see a question mark either. Oh, there's a shit ton of items everywhere. Exclamation mark. I don't see one. Unless I'm blind. Damn blind. Wait. Right there. Maybe. 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 I think that's a question mark. That's some sort of question mark. I don't know if that's the request, but something we need over there. That's not a loading screen chat. That is totally an immersive to swim, okay? Okay, we're gonna follow this. Oh, here we go. Old footprints. Hey! I'm not here for you today. I'm not here for you, go away. He's lucky that I'm not here for him. Him. Can I keep him? I want to keep him. Aww. I want to keep him forever. Good at up he wants me to go up there. Up, how do you get up there? Very good question. Oh, you shoot it to drop on monsters? Oh. I didn't even notice that. Ah. 
Okay, stop it. Okay, go ahead and cut these. I need more parts. I was gonna let you live. I was gonna let you live and tell the others what happened here today, but not anymore. That's great Jagras. That's not what I'm looking for. Suspended boulders. So that is not the creature we're looking for. Well, we'll find him. I guess we'll just keep running around until we find him. Grab some honey. Two mega potions. That's good. This way? Hi, JP. <laughs> I have no idea where to start looking for this guy. I guess let's run around till we find some poop or footprints or something. He could literally be anywhere. It looked, like it, was, subscriber. It looked like it was leading me. Oh, leading me to that. Untrack that. Well, let's uh, let's go check out over this way. I'm not tracking the tap. All right, let's walk around looking for prints and shit. We only have 50 minutes to find them, I think. Walk around till we find him. Oh, this is my favorite part about Monster Hunter. Just like running around the environment looking for the, your prey. Think about how you're going to chop them up in little pieces. It's good stuff. Does the game work so good as a solo game? I find it more fun as a solo game. Sort of like I find Dark Souls better as a solo game. But there's a lot of people that love it as a multiplayer game. So you can do it. The good thing about this game is you can play it solo for hours and then just join in randomly on a group quest if you feel like it. You don't have to do single. You don't. You're not forced into multiplayer. And if you ever want to, if you if you you're never forced into multiplayer. So like if I feel like I want to do multiplayer, I can just jump in there at any time. What's this? Destroyed carcass. Wait, more clues. Okay, I see a footprint. Old footprints. Wiggly Litchy. Whatever the hell that is. No, every monster in the game can be completed solo. You don't have to group. The way groups are balanced is they believe they lower your damage by a fourth. They, your damage is one fourth of what it normally is if you're in a group. That way, each player can have equal opportunity to deal damage to a creature. And you can also beat it with every weapon, too. Some weapons are going to be easier than other weapons on the different creatures, though. Like, really fast creatures are going to be tough with this uh, great sword, for example. But it's going to absolutely destroy slow things.
More HP, but not lower damage. Same thing. Whether uh, the monster has four times as much health or you do one quarter damage, the effect is the same. Just takes longer to kill something. Hmm. I don't see the creature anymore. for this thing. Yeah, they've been making these games for years. They know how to balance the groups with each other. I lost track of the thing. Let me go back the other way. Oh, what's that? Toxic mucus. That looks like him. Footprint. Are we on the right trail, finally? Yes. Okay. So this is saying he's going this way now. Okay. We're on the right track, finally. Finally. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Sir, move out of the way. I'm looking for a creature. Have you seen... Oh, you're him! Shit! the creature I want. That's not a pokey po that's something what is that? Track the pokey pokey I want him Find the pokey pokey That's it I don't want to fuck with it right now Okay, he's over there. Looks like he's fighting the other creature over there. Yeah, I want the uglier looking thing. There we are. Hi there! God, you are ugly! Holy shit, you are ugly! Oh, God. Thank you. Come here. like poison for days. Okay, let's 
down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. Ah! Gotcha! He's like, flew away. Okay. We gotta go hunt him down. Grab these footprints. Pookie pookie feathers. Okay, we need to sharpen our thing. Yeah, Capcom gave me uh, early access to the game. I locked it a bit earlier. Where'd he go? Okay, he's right in front of me somewhere. There he is. Hi. He's gonna vomit. Watch out. Stop it. Whoa, 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 with the poison. Careful. Get down here. Get down here. Get down here. Flash bombs are good against flying monsters. Okay, his poison's really annoying. Checking the vines? What? All trapped in the vines. Top of the scream. Okay, he's running away. No, Monster Hunter doesn't have health bars. They 
the monster gives visual clues as to how it help how it is. They'll start limping or start breathing hard. Start breathing fast like me after eat, filling up at a buffet, like Follow where the hell he went. Unique mushroom colony. Rare mushroom from the ancient forest, highly sought after by elite chefs. Account item. Hmm. Exquisite shroom cap. Yeah, great sword is a super slow weapon, but it hits really hard. It's the trade off. Some people don't like that. If you don't like that, you can do a slower, much slower weapon. Okay, he's up here, way up high in the tree here. There he is. No, that's not him. Watch it. Come on. Yeah, he is real mad right now. He's fucking pissed. Drop down. Got a few good hits on him there. Got his tail! Got your tail! Did you need that? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that yours? I'm so sorry. Freaking spider, though. Okay, go. Round two, motherfucker. Round two. Come on. Where'd he go? He's flying that way. Where's he flying to? I'm gonna get to him. Okay, this way. Oh, carve the tail. Go back. Carve the tail. The poor chat freaks out. <laughs> pookie pookie tail. Yeah. Slice it. Slice that tail. Slice it. That's a piercing pot, a powerful type of slinger ammo. That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters. Piercing pod. Nice, we got the tail. 
Okay, follow the, the scale, the little dudes. Good job. Yeah, the, the great sword looks, seems really good at slicing off body parts because it does so much damage at once when it hits something. Grab some honey. Yeah, he's gonna restore HP, but it's not gonna be like he'll be full like in just a few seconds. Takes a while. Grab that honey though. There he is. you for a year. Ever thought about doing Dan's Game of the Year program? Uh, not particularly. Any more body parts around here? Did I get them all? This guy with some bones. Been playing for a couple of, uh, almost four hours. Gotcha. Not bad, not bad at all. The rain sounds weird. Really, we're on. You know, this game's all right, but the rain sounds are just. That's a deal breaker for me. I'm not immersed. Pokey Pokey Scale. Uh, poison Sack. Sack. Monster Bone. Uh, shell. Scale. Shell. Armor Sphere. Iron Ore. Iron Ore. Monster Bone. Pokey Pokey's uh, Head. I'll break his head. New subscriber. Uh, mushroom, monster bone. Thank you for subbing. Neon. Neon. Uh, neon Cational. Sergeant Shadow. Arufu Chan. Caparino Light Creator. Avarice. Thank you guys. A new arena quest has been unlocked. Nothing stops this commission. Add exquisite mushroom to the ingredient list for delivering exquisite mushrooms. Shrine bloom ingredient list for delivering shrine blooms. Perfect. Uh, thank you, Dark Templar. I'll be sure to have it do that. You've done well. Excellent work putting down that pookie pookie. I knew I put the task in the right hands. Just to catch you up, we're hot on the trail of Zora Madras is now. Listen up. But there's more to figure out. We need the fit to protect our scholars while they investigate. Putting you in charge of our wild spire waste. The quest will begin once you've uh, convened on site. All right. So it's that was like. Begin the Elder Dragon investigation. Make sure you know what you need to do. So that creature was the hardest in so the game, right? So now we need to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. Have you gotten used to how to f uh, things work around here? 
If you ever find yourself struggling out there, don't afraid to send up an SOS flare. Our other field members in the area might come and help you out if they see it. Ask others for help you need it and answer the call when others need it. Make you a better hunter. Wait, so I can go help other players? I beat the game, congrats, thanks. Where do you uh, see loadout? So that way it just auto stocks certain things. Oh, the option. Loadout. Uh, six potions, six antidotes, meat, meat, vials. Yeah, we'll do that one. Very basic, perfect. I think that works perfectly. And also, uh, grab a couple of... Uh, we probably want some... Mega potions in there. Uh, check loadout. Why not playing Sea of Thieves? We played it yesterday. It was okay. If you're not playing other people, it's not the. It's kind of a repetitive game. But playing with other people seems decent. Boom, boom, boom. So I guess I want to just uh, grab mega potions and uh, put that there like that so that way the meat's organized So let's uh, save item loadout. Yes. Perfect. Nice. Now it'll auto do that every time, right? So I'll just have exactly that stuff. Now I'll have exactly that every time I go to a place. That's awesome. What other things can we make? Bomb, bounce bomb, herbal medicine, resolve traces of poison, and restore a slight amount of health. Mega nutrients increase your maximum health level. Nutrients plus honey. Let's go see if we can do any upgrades at the uh, forge real fast. This online, you can play it with you can play with other people. You don't have to though. Up to four other, uh, three other people uh, can hunt a monster at a time, and it's balanced very well around co-op play. Frame rate looks trash. Well, it's on console. Consoles rarely run higher than 30 frames. There you are, Fiber. Let's see, upgrade. What do we need to upgrade this baby? We gotta kill the great Jackrus a couple of more times. Pookie Pookie Quill has poison damage. Ooh. Ooh. So the same damage, but it has an extra poison. So if I get another quill off of Pookie Pookie, I could have the same one, but also a little poison as well. Mm -hmm. 
Buster Sword 3 is kind of weak. Uh, we're on PS4 Pro and it runs eh, about 30, 40 frames a second. It's not super stable. But it's alright. Uh, so we could also craft a, another great sword, the bone blade, which is the base weapon. I just want to have one to possibly upgrade it. We'll upgrade to the next tier. And then from here, easiest one would be to get the ancient bones, which would make it a little better than the current one. I go this creep this card parts I don't have yet. Yeah, we could try out different weapons too if we if we feel like it. Like, let's see. How about hammer? Bone bludgeon. Try out a hammer and see how hammer feels. I like heavy weapons. That thing's huge. Then if I want to upgrade said hammer. Then we have Bone Bludgeon. Uh, looks like the only the upgrade for it requires uh, Kaluk Yahoo. Couple more of those. It does 600 damage. It's not bad. Or 600 attack. I don't know if that means damage, but that much attack. But it seems pretty good. Alright, those, I think it's getting late, guys, so I'll go ahead and uh, we'll stop here for today. And we'll play all day tomorrow. We'll start at a normal time tomorrow. And play it all day long. Let's go. But uh, thank you guys for watching today. Hope you guys had fun. Uh, we'll be back on tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back.